society tells us certain things are not perfect and we have to change certain things. Um, but it's all, you know, <laughs> everyone has different things they think are imperfect on themselves and usually they're really not that big of a deal, but because society tells us, even if it's not outright, um, they tell us this is what's seen as perfect and beautiful and wonderful, um, and it, it's, it makes us feel bad even if we don't, like again, I don't think it's as overt as we always like to think it is, um, filters on Instagram make it feel like we have to be a certain way, um, you know, nice lighting, which again, um, like, this isn't even the best lighting to show imperfections because, like, let's talk about how we look in, like, a fluorescent yellowy bathroom. Whoa! You can see everything. <laughs> but I wanted to do this because I feel like it does highlight things that, you know, other lighting does not pick up. Anyway, the reason I'm talking about this is because of stuff I've seen on social media lately. And... I never really record without makeup and without, like, making sure most things are perfect or at least passable um, when I record and I want to just examine my face and my imperfections and things that I don't want people to see um, and they're usually not a big deal, but I think the best way to get over these kinds of things is to just go ahead in and just show the world. Um, as a content creator, I get a lot of comments about how I look, um, and some of them are bad, some of them are, some of them are good, um, but sometimes even getting good comment, good comments about my looks makes, I, 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 <laughs> sometimes I want to just hear how I help you, or how you like my ideas, my creativity, my, my empathy, way more than I want you to tell me, like, you like my face, you know what I mean? Um, and that's not to say I don't appreciate love and, um, praise for, you know, my makeup or whatever, but I would say most of the time I would much rather hear about what makes me, me and my videos different, not my face, because there's only, you know, this is my face and, like, I, there's only so much I can do about it, and I didn't, I didn't grow, I mean, I grew it, but I didn't, like, do anything for it. So, yeah, with that being said, I'm just gonna talk about things on my face that I see as imperfections and maybe talk through them, um, and talk, talk about it a little bit. This could be a really bad video idea, and it might not connect, but I just want to show you that you don't always have to be perfect to to be loved, to be to be a, a wonderful, wholesome human being, and it's really hard to get on camera and put yourself out there if you feel like you're inadequate. But the more and more I grow up, and the more and more I I hear negative things about myself, the more I don't give a flying frick frack, you know? So, I hope that this can help some of you who, who may not feel like they see enough real, raw human in the internet, and that's what I want. So, with that being said, let's do it. Let's, blah, 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 blah. let's do a general overview of, like, me. Hello. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, this is my hair. I took a shower yesterday and slept on it when it was like mildly wet. So my hair is flippy. Um, I have, I don't know if this is going to pick it up, but I have like dandruff flakes. Um, I've been dealing with my scalp having build up and I always get self-conscious about it especially because my hair is so dark and you can see all of the little flakes and you know again it's an imperfection or what people say is an imperfection because I'm supposed to have you know beautifully perfect hair without any sort of fuzz or dandruff or anything you know but it's there um I don't know how I feel about my hair right now I, it's fine, but it definitely doesn't feel like me, and so I've, I've been a little self-conscious 
conscious lately because of that reason, but again, we're working through that and it's fine. Let's see. Uh, what else? Um, I have some redness and pimples and blackheads on my, on my forehead. There's right here is this huge, um, under the skin pimple that is just so painful. Um, and I will talk about these in a second, but it is about to be my period, so my skin is literally at its worst right before, and it is just, it gets awful. Um, my eyebrows are, you know, I actually really like my eyebrows even when they're not filled in, but, you know, they're a little wonky, a little crazy, they're not perfect, they don't do the, like, radiant brow that everyone likes, they're just kind of there and blocky. My eyes have these veins that show through. My under eyes have been looking a little dark and um, a little wrinkly. <laughs> My skin is definitely not an even tone. I have like some texture. I have a lot of blackheads clogged pores on my nose and it always gets so red right here in the corner and it's dry as you can see also I get comments about my nose all the time yes it is not like a perfect little straight button nose it does in fact have a bump in it People ask what happened to it. Well, two things. I was born with it, and my parents both have larger bumped noses. And secondly, I did either fracture or break my nose, but that's, I mean, my nose is just naturally bigger and not straight. So for all those people that ask what's wrong with my nose, there is nothing wrong with my nose. This is what a nose looks like. <laughs> Also, if you can you imagine if someone came up to you on the street and just was like, what's wrong with your eyebrows? What's wrong with your nose? What's wrong with your chin? Like, would you ever say that to anyone in person? No. So why do you think it's okay to say to, a, to people on the internet? I am actually almost completely okay with my nose now, but in middle school, high school, beginning of college, if you would have said that to me, and that, that, you know, my nose being one of my biggest insecurities, it would have absolutely broken my heart, and as if I didn't already want to have a nose job growing up, then it would have just made it worse. So, before you comment on someone else's appearance, especially on the internet, please ask yourself why it's so important to tell that person how how you think this is bad on them, or what happened to this, or I don't like this. Why do you feel the need to do that? And if it's because you have so low self-esteem, maybe you should be working on yourself and building up your own confidence. So much more is beautiful than what we are told is beautiful in this world, and I, I really want you to challenge that idea in your mind. And here's another thing, even if you do think, I'm ugly, or there's something wrong with my face, wrong with my face. Um, why would I care about your opinion on my face? Nobody's asking you to think I'm hot. Nobody's asking you to sleep with me. Nobody's asking you to, to have any more interaction with my face than you want. Um, so, just some food for thought. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So we got my nose. I don't know if you can see, but I have little mustache hairs right here that are growing back. And then we go to this lovely constellation of acne. We got one right here, we have one here, here, and I think one right here. Um, that is from my hormones. Again, I'm about to have my period, so... I'm always so afraid to show my pimples 
especially on video. And um, so we're just going to show like when my skin is at my worst, so you're welcome. <laughs> Also, I have really veiny under nose stuff going on there. Also, you might hear noises outside, but because this is an imperfect video and we're talking about imperfections, I'm just gonna, there's birds outside and I can't control that, so we're just gonna keep going. So here is my skin. Also, the only thing I have on my skin is my skincare routine. So I cleansed, I put on some under eye serum, I put on some hydraulic, I said hydraulic, <laughs> hyaluronic acid, and then moisturizer and a lip mask. So if you are wondering if anything is on my face, that is what's on my face. I have yellowy teeth. I have some areas where my gums are receding. My lips are wrinkled and wrinkly. That's not because they're dry, that's just how they are. I have people being like, why do you have such dry lips? And I'm like, they're actually not dry at all. <laughs> and you know, there was a time in my life where I couldn't even leave the house without makeup. Um, it didn't have to be a lot of makeup, but it had to be something, usually concealer or some sort of something to cover up my, like, you know, my redness or my pimples. Um, and then I would often do my eyebrows and stuff. So the fact that I right now am uploading a video where I don't have any sort of filter, any sort of barrier of like what my face looks like, is honestly, I don't know, it feels very good and I'm so happy that I can, I can, I can share this with you and hopefully it can give you some sort of confidence or just to re-think about what perfection means truly and what it means to, like, your face doesn't define you, it really doesn't and it's hard to say that when people constantly tell you that otherwise, but I promise you that you are lovely and perfect, and what I actually really care about is how your soul, how your spirit, how your personality is, and I know how silly and cliche that sounds, but it's really true. Um, okay, well. important. 